Top floor. Second run, top floor. No way. I call BS. There's no way 30 is it. I'm partly responsible for what's going on, so I'll go out there with you, 8. Without a weapon? Forget that. I know, I know, but I have to. Look, it's pretty much impossible to change Marina's mind on the set. But she can handle this off without a weapon. There shouldn't be a problem. That's so sweet of you, Oct. Alright, I can see I'm outvoted. No big blazes of glory, though, okay? You got it, Pearl. And get some more water ready. You're supposed to replay with other weapons for story, I guess. Story, keys, unlock goodies to play with in Turf War. You come in too, Oct? Nah, I'd rather not get in your way. I'll watch from here in case things go south. <laughs> Good looking out. And yo, if things get real bad, keep Marina safe. Get hyped, get psyched, get ready for a big ol' messy fight. Mystery fight where like half of our palette with its poison ink just isn't gonna do anything. But we've got our long range shots buffed to do like 160 some damage. 160% damage. So it looks like we have yet another final boss in like a concert type arena. Those tentacles with like veins in them are weird looking. I'm not sure what animals are taking. I mean, octopuses, but like, are the nerves inside of an octopus tentacle shaped like that? Are the muscle fibers shaped like that? Yo, look, it's order. A perfect world is a stable world. It has no need for change, for variation. It has no need for desire, for conflict. In this world, none desire what may be. They embrace what is. Their lives are peaceful ones. I will achieve a quiet and peaceful world. Reasons to oppose this include... Error, no reasons found. I can't deny that a chaotic world is a stable one. That uncertainty would tire you out and make you scared of what tomorrow might bring. There's been times I wished everything could stay the same forever. Sometimes when colors clash or mix, you end up with mud. But every now and then, you see a beautiful rainbow. And in the end, that's a gamble I'm willing to take. With Pearl and Eight and Ox and everyone else. This world's architect, my creator, would deny me. Illogical. Irrational. Error. 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 An unrecoverable mentor mentality error has occurred. The sentence for interruption of order is eradication. Is he gonna turn to a giant tentacle? He's a giant tentacle. He's a lot of giant tentacles. Yeah, that's scary. I don't think I'm gonna win this fight.
Okay. Where'd you get another tentacle? Oh, there it is. Final checkpoints. We did get the one, right? Like it exploded. Okay, I think there it is. Whoa, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. There's gotta be one more tentacle somewhere, yeah. I'm not sure where it is, though. Oof. Looks like you're Dunzo snore or something. Such chaotic strength. But the program is not fully executed. The rebooted world will know tranquility. Oh man, my heart's going. No, after all that, we were too late? I don't want a blank world. Maybe I can shut down Order's program. Maybe you could have done that this whole time. No good, it's propagating too fast. Pearl, I... So I didn't do good enough? We still lose? We Donkey Kong's special move in Brawl now.
There it is, eight. I'm feeling your vibe. And Marina, your backing track slaps. Cancel that snooze button. Hit me with the beat, DJ. We're all gonna nuke this problem, too. Aw, oh, snap. Marina and Oct, Oct collab. Of what use is this resistance? Happiness and stasis. Unchanging. Forever. Are you kidding? We're still on tour. This show doesn't stop. Keep your boring gigs or boring people. We're out here living, loser. Right, gang? Crank it up. Mic check. Okay, cool. My limbs are self-animating. Why? <laughs> He's dancing. This is outside my parameters. An undefined error is occurring. Ha! Ah, this world you dreamed of is boring. Even you can't stand it anymore. Well, we got the ink to fix that. Don't get cooked. Stay off the hook. Useless. Try all you like. The result will never change. A. The palette's empty. Did Order do this? Look. I think I see colored chips trapped inside these portals. Aw, oh, yeah. We're turning up the intensity on this fight. It's encore time. Ready to take a bow wait? Mobility helps. Lucky chips. So we're just going to get a full palace at the end of this fight. Oh! I have instant charge now. It's really throwing me off. at him. I don't even have to aim at him. <laughs> My ink efficiency is insane right now. 99 chain? <laughs> that was a nice victory lap. Warning. An undead error is occurring. Warning. An undead error is occurring. 
and he blows up. All bosses at the end of Splatoon games blow up in a big ball of ink. Did we win? What the? Oh, he's a little baby octopus. You ruined everything! I was so close to my perfect wall of order! It's like order, except a lot less scary. I don't think we have much to worry about here. Sweet, case closed then. Yo, baby puss, you were down with our music, right? We can get you VIP seats to our show. Aw, oh, Pearl. Aw, oh, Pearl! Smallest. Alright, time for us to bounce. We gotta get back to the real, I guess, tour. And elevator. There's gotta be some, like, super secret extra fudgy boss. That can't be it. No way. I mean, I guess we could still try to beat the tower with more weapons and stuff. Haven't 100 percent it yet. Yeah, we got other pallets to unlock and get all the keys for. I bet if we unlock the thing where we get more double chips, we're more likely to get... Oh, and there's a thing you can reset the palette choices. Like a permanent upgrade where you can re-roll for what your uh, quests are going to be for each floor. So that'll make it more likely to get that 100% targeting computer that I didn't even have to aim at the boss to, to shoot him. I was so thrown off at the end of that fight by just not having to charge anymore. My brain didn't want to accept that just just press the button, it'll shoot. So, where is this elevator taking us, exactly? See, I know it's just a remixing it, but the little glitch effects in the music make me worried. I'm still not sure if those supposed to be like... <sighs> What's it called in English? In Japanese it's called a Himeika. There are these little tiny pygmy squids that can glow. They're what Pearl's Japanese name is based off of. You know, Himeika being this tiny little squid, so she's a tiny little squid. They don't look like them though. Like, the luminescence looks more like something you'd see in a cuttlefish, but they, they're shaped more like a flatworm, so I have no idea what's going on. Hey, so... We've broken through the Celestial Dome, and now we're in the waters over the Earth. Marina's Memworld confirmed for flat. That is a lot of- are we still on localization? That's a lot of localizers. Oh, or you know what, this could be kind of a reference to the original, um, Rogue. 
where once you got to the bottom of the dungeon and got the key to let you out, then you started going through the... You went back up, and then you went out the exit, and then it turns out now you've got to go through all the elemental planes. So you go through, like, the elemental plane of water and the elemental plane of sky. So right now we've gone through the elemental plane of water, and now we're going through sky. Is this just a stab at Metaverse? Nah, see, this VR made you boring, whereas using Metaverse, you had to be boring to start with. So we're in the elemental plane of air now, but there's still those weird little glowy worm squid things. They're just like staring at the camera like, why are you still here? And then it drops. Then the elevator just drops. No? 